Okay, what's up guys? It's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Heart Gold Soul Silver walkthrough. Okay, so, and apologies in order. I do realize that I kind of came up rough last week when it came to taking a break, and yeah, I do apologize for that, but good old Draven needed a little bit of a break. He did. Yeah, big break, and well, here we are in the Ilex Forest. As many of you guys already know, we have defeated, uh, let's see, Azalea Town's gym leader, Bugsy, and before we did anything else, we did stock up on a few things, like repels, because we need repels. Trust me on this, guys, we're gonna need repels, because we're gonna be battling a lot of trainers, well, not really, a lot of Pokemon, and, well, here is this individual, he's gonna be looking at us, he's gonna be like, oh man, my boss is going to be angry. The far fetch that cut tree or cuts trees for charcoal took off uh, in the forest. Can you fetch him for me? Farfetch has uh, sensitive ears. If you step on a branch, they will face towards you. That's your chance. Sneak up from behind and catch them. Do you think you can do that? Yes, I can. I can. So as you guys can see, it's a little bit different from uh, you know Generation Two, where Farfetch you kind of have to lead them to the owner. This one right here. You step on a branch, and a farfetch will notice you. And the thing is that I'm going to have to go right behind him, just like that, in order to get him. And bam, we got him. <laughs> easy. Okay. So freaking easy. Wow, you found farfetch. Thank you. But there is one more mis and one more missing. If you can step on or if you can step on a branch, it will face you. Remember? That's your chance to catch it. Sneak up behind it and uh, yeah, you'll get it. So I completely forgot that there's two far fetched. So let's see what we can actually do on this one and well, we already wasted a repel, so let's go ahead and do that again. And well, let's go find that other pesky far fetched and look at this. We found ourselves a revive. That would have been needed. And, well, let's see, where is Farfetch? And there he is. Okay, so... We're gonna have to lead this Farfetch. Let's see. Yeah, I won't notice that. So, if you go right here, it's not behind it. It will move somewhere else, and you need to catch it right behind you. Or, you need to get it right behind you. So, what's going to happen right here is... Okay. I think I got it. It's just we need another repel. And, well, let's go ahead and use that, and let's go ahead and mess with this farfetch. So if you go right here, it's going to think that you're right behind it, but if you don't touch the branches right there, bam, right behind it, you got yourself a farfetch. And just like that, he's like, wow, you got them both. Thank you so much. My boss's Pokemon won't obey me because I don't have a badge. Huh, you saved me. And just like that, the boss is going to notice. He's going to be like, ah, my far and my fetch. <laughs> you found them both for us, kid? Without them, we wouldn't be able to uh, cut trees for charcoal. Thanks, kid. Now, how can I thank you? I know, here, take this. And, well, we're going to be getting ourselves the HM01 that is cut. And it teaches a Pokemon to clear small trees. Of course, you're going to have to have the Azalea Town badge in order to use it. Thankfully, we already did that. Now... There is one more thing that we need to do before we continue our adventure right here, so I'll be right back with you guys. Okay, so here we are in Azalea Town again, and this is where the charcoal people live. After you step outside of the Ilex Forest, they're going to be back into their house, and as you guys can see, this place is a little, yeah, it's built different. And if you talk to this guy right here, he's like, you chased off Team Rocket and went to the Ilex Forest alone? That takes Gus. I like that. Come train with us. Mm, not really, but if you talk to this kid right here, he's going to be like, I'm sorry, I forgot to thank you. This is a charcoal I made. Fire-type moves will will be become more powerful than a uh, poke, when a Pokemon holds it. And there you go, we got ourselves a charcoal. A free one, by the way. They do sell them right here in Azalea, but they do cost a pretty penny. So, yeah. What's a free charcoal? I don't know. So, we're going to go back to the Ilex Forest, and we're going to take care of the trees and all that stuff. I'll be right with you guys. Alrighty, so here we are back in the Alex Forest, and well, off screen, we did capture ourselves a, an Oddish because, well, we thought that uh, Hoppip could actually do the job, but no, it couldn't. It's really, uh, it's really a useless Pokemon, so we got ourselves an Oddish. And well, as you guys can see right here, here is the Alex Shrine, and it's a tribute to the Forces Protector. As many of you guys already know, 
The forest's protector is Celebi. We will be getting to it eventually once, uh, I want to say... Huh. I kind of want to say before the Elite Four, maybe? Not really, no. In this game, it's going to have to be after the Elite Four, so... We're going to we're gonna get to it eventually. Uh, it really opens up a lot in the story of Silver when it comes to Celebi and all that stuff. Uh, Pokemon really did a good job on incorporating that whole storyline with both Silver and the connection to Giovanni and his hate towards, uh, you know, uh, Team Rocket. So, yeah, we're going to eventually get there. And, well, let's see. We're going to be using another repel right here. And we got to, let's see. We got to grab some items. There might be a, a sneak item right here. And, let's see. Nope, not really. Uh, how about right here? I'm looking everywhere and looking at it. We found ourselves a super potion. And... Well, there is a Komodo girl right there, but before we go towards her, let's go right over here and talk to this individual. He's facing the tree, and this guy's just banging on the tree. It's a big boy. Pretty sure you can do that. Okay, let's see what you're all about here. What am I doing? I'm shaking trees using headbutts. It's fun. Here, try it with your Pokemon too. And, well, it looks like it could actually teach a Pokemon headbutt. I just need to know which Pokemon is best suited for, for Headbutt right here. I think in this version, you can eventually teach, or you can buy a TM that will teach it. So let's go right ahead and take a look at its stats first to see who can actually need, or who actually needs it. And obviously Togepi is not one of them. And then we got, yeah, Fluffbolt, not really. Well, it's looking like Cinder right here, but there's a big butt right there. You know what? We're going to give it to Lucky right here because Lucky does have a, a nice attack right here. And, well, let's go right ahead and uh, have him teach my Pokemon right here. So let's go right ahead and give that to Lucky. And can't learn more than four moves, so let's go right ahead and switch out a move. I already know what it is. Let's go with Slam since it's very inaccurate. And one, two, and three. There it goes. And there you go. We got ourselves a Headbutt attack. There, how do you like it? Your lucky looks much stronger. Okay, so that's that. And, yes, we're gonna have to use another repel. A regular repel, I should say. And, well, let's see, let's see, let's see. Let's go right up here. And there is a kimono girl waiting for us. So if we step right here, this kimono girl will be looking at us and she's gonna be like, kimono girl, kimono girl, lost and all alone. Poor girl lost in the dark. Alex Forrest. She's spinning around. What? Do you remember me from Violet City? <laughs> you must be imagining. Anyway, will you show me how to get out of this forest? And just like that, she's like, you will? Aren't you lost in the forest as well? How do you know how you can get out of here? Togepi is looking around and she, or he, or I don't even know, this Togepi is going to be like, wow, are you going to show me how to get out? You're such a smart Pokemon. See you. And just like that, the Kimono girl has left. I'm looking at you. This Pokemon right here is like... Togepi is wandering around and enjoying the forest scenery. That is true. Now, looking at these Kimono Girls right here... It, it, it does come out... It does come back with like, you know, some storyline and all that stuff, which we will eventually get to. But they all play an important role when it comes to the legendary Pokemon right here. So, let's go right ahead and use that Headbutt attack and see what kind of Pokemon we can actually find right here. And here we have a, a Lucky slamming onto something and there's nothing and here we go let's try it again come on wakey wakey somebody attack me nobody how about this one right here we could try that one right and there we go nothing okay so no pokemon wants a piece of us let's try the let's try this one right here and this one we'll have something okay so let's see what kind of pokemon we've encountered and oh it's a Caterpie. Or Caterpie. I'm playing. Yeah, we already we already caught you. We don't need you. Let's just move on right here. So, yeah, there are some different Pokemon that you can actually find right here, guys. One of them being um, Caterpie, I believe. What was the other Pokemon you can actually find? Uh, Heracross you can actually find in the other... Or in, in uh, Azalea Town. And, uh, you know what? Maybe we should be doing that at some point. But, let's see. How about this one right here? What was a... Uh, oh, yeah. Pineco is another Pokemon that you can find. 
And, uh, let's see, I believe there are some other bug Pokemon like, you know, good old Beedrill, maybe even a Butterfree. And then, if you're doing this in the daytime, you'll find yourself a Hoo Hoo or Noctowl, and they're going to be asleep because obviously they're nocturnal Pokemon. And as you guys can see, we are finally at the towards the end of this whole forest right here. And... Well, let's see. Let's talk to her. And she's like, did you see the sign? Uh, the shrine that pays homage to its protector? The protector watches over the forest from across time. I think that it must be a grass-type Pokemon. True. It is a very true Pokemon. And if you talk to this po person, she's going to be like, oh, honey, you're making a Pokedex? You must be battling all kinds of Pokemon. Try using this uh, TM for change. And there you go. We got ourselves a TM12. This one is Taunt. Use it... Use it and the target Pokemon can only use moves that do damage to your Pokemon for a while. It's probably a, it's probably a good thing. Probably a good uh, item to actually have during a, uh, a trainer battle. Or, you know, what was it called? Uh, online battle and all that stuff. So, this is what you guys were looking for. We're going to be going into some battles right here, finally. And this is where I do my training. I can see that. Okay, so here we are digging on youngster Samuel. He's got himself four Pokemon, so let's go ahead and speed this up. Extra sensory. And just like that, we defeat this guy here. He comes out with the Sand True. So let's go with Lucky. And Lucky's gonna go with the Water Gun. We got Poisoned, really. You gotta love that. And coming out with the Spearow, let's go with Fluffle right here. And, well, Fluffle's gonna go with the Thundershock for the win. Let's continue this whole bottle, or battle, and with a Thundershock. And just like that. We have defeated our opponent, and well... Yeah, we gotta heal up our Pokemon here too. Let's see, yes, we do have one more Antidote. And Lucky really needs it. Yes, okay, so let's see, what else can we find right here? Yes, we can find a lot of trainers. On top of that, some pretty interesting Pokemon. I just got back from the daycare. Let's see how much stronger my Pokemon got. Okay, let's go. Here we have Pokefam Brandon coming out with a snubble and well let's go right right there and then with an extra sensory and yes our physical attack has fallen but guess what we still win so let's go with Cinder right here and Cinder Flame Wheel for the win and just like that level 21 that's how you do it okay so let's move on right here getting attacked by another Pokemon because well that's kind of our luck and oh my god okay so as many of you guys already know, Ditto is a very, very interesting Pokemon when it comes to, you know, breeding. I want to capture it because, well, this is like a one in so many chances to actually find it. It's a very rare Pokemon, especially right here. So let's go with the metronome, see what happens. And here goes a splash. Seriously, come on, Togepi. And, well, how about this? A sweet kiss. And Draco, oh wow, seriously. He gets the Draco Meteor. And, well, here we go with the Sweet Kiss. Let's go with Extra Sensory. And, let's go again. Damn it, come on. And there you go. Okay, so we're getting dominated by a Ditto. And, just remember, when it transforms, it only has 5 PP on any kind of move that, you know, it might copy off of. And if we're battling this Pokemon for a long time, obviously this Pokemon is going to start using, uh, what was he, move? Oh, look at that, we just got it. So there you go, guys. We caught ourselves a Ditto. This guy will come in handy when it comes to breeding because, well, we do intend to breed some Pokemon. And, well, it can transform into anything. When it sleeps, it changes into a stone to avoid being attacked. Hmm. Okay, so, yeah, we're not going to nickname you. But we got lucky. We got very, very lucky. And our mama's calling us right here. So she's like, hello? Oh, hi, Draven. How are you? I found this useful, uh, sh this, uh, or useful item while shopping. So I bought it with your money. Sorry. But I asked the delivery man to take it to you. So you should just uh, stop by in the nearest Pokemon in the department store. Or department store. And pick it up. I know it'll be useful. Better be useful. Better be a moonstone or something like that. I don't know. But... Now that we're right here, let's go right ahead and switch out our Pokemon. Yes, we've been playing this game for such a, uh, such a long time that we already know what this this is going to happen. So she's going to be like, are you a trainer? Let's have a practice battle. Okay, so this practice battle right here is going to be against Gina. She's coming out with her Hop Pip. 
Let's go with the flame wheel. Look at that. Coming out with a Bulbasaur. And there we go again. Flame wheel for the win. And just like that, we win. And of course, she's gonna be saying that she wants to battle us again sometime. So yes, we're gonna get her. We're gonna get her phone number just in case. Although this guy, this method right here was kind of uh, well, it's pretty lame if you ask me. I mean, I do I do like the VS Seeker a little bit better. Anywho, talking to this person right here, and well, he's gonna be coming. Uh, his name is Youngster Ian, and yes, he's coming with his Mankey. So let's go right ahead, Flame Wheel for the win. And he's coming out with a Diglett, so let's go with Lucky right here. And let's go with the Water Gun Attack. And yes, we're still getting, uh, we're still getting, uh, yeah, we're still, we're still getting blinded, but yes, we still win right here. Anywho, hmm, if you transferred into my class, I'd become a second best student in my class, wouldn't I? I want to get stronger before that could happen, so you trade your phone numbers with me? Sure, let's go right ahead and be cool with everybody. It doesn't really matter. We're going to be cool with everybody. And, yeah, we're not going to battle you anytime soon. So, here we are. And would you look at this? Grandpa! And there's our lovely girlfriend. She's going to be like, good work, Grandpa. The Pokemon you raised for me has uh, has been as healthy as it can be. You look fit, too. Uh-oh. Hi, Draven. She notices us. Let me introduce you, this is Draven. He's a trainer. He seems to be getting better at raising Pokemon. Well, not as good as you, Grandpa, of course. Follow me, Draven. Okay, alrighty, so we're following, we're following. Let's see what she has, uh, well, let's see what she has uh, for us right here. She's gonna be talking to her grandma. She's like, let me introduce you to my friend, Draven. Uh-huh, this is your boyfriend? Hmm, I see. <laughs> what, Grandma, what are you talking about? He just happens to live nearby. <laughs> I know, I know. Since you brought him here, Lyra, you must be sure about his talent. Right, Draven? Come come see us anytime. Well, I better go now. See ya. Okay. And there is one more thing that she forgot, and she's gonna be like, here, this is my Poke Gear number. And yes, we got her number too, so she's she's literally doing this in front of her grandma. You dig us, don't you, huh? You know you can talk to your Pokemon as they follow you. They do all, all sorts of cute stuff on the road and in towns. I'm taking notes of everything they do uh, funny, or funny things they do, whatever. Give me a call and I'll share some, uh, some of them with you. Grandma, don't you say anything. We are both trainers and we are supposed to exchange numbers. That's all. Dang. Brutal, brutal. She still digs us. And well, yes, this place right here is the daycare, which uh, as many of you guys already know, is a very good place to breed your Pokemon to level them up step for step and all that stuff. They do get one experience points per step. And, uh, well, what's gonna happen right here is, yes, I don't need you right here anymore. We're gonna be putting back some Pokemon. Ditto, of course, will be used for breeding Pokemon. You know, the, the, the essential Pokemon, kind of like. The ones that we can't get later on. You know, like Eevees, you know, all that stuff. And, well, Grandpa's looking at us, he's like, I have an idea. I'll get, uh, I'll give you our numbers. Then you can check on the Pokemon we raise on you. And there you go. We get some phone numbers yet again. And they're gonna be calling us and be like, okay, so when are you gonna marry our daughter or granddaughter? I don't know. I've got quite a few girlfriends. I do not know. Anywho, let's continue on right here. Now in the nighttime, you will be seeing these police officers and he's like, what's with you? What are you doing? So. It's only at nighttime where you're going to be battling against these policemen. And, of course, many of these policemen will have Growlits. These Pokemon do have Intimidate and they will mess with you just a little bit. Many of you guys already know because I got myself Big Booty Butt Kiss on the team in Pokemon Fire Red. And don't know why I'm doing that, so let's go right ahead and switch it out to Lucky right here. And we're going to go with the Water Gun. And... Oh, nearly defeats this guy right here, so... We're going to be uh, using our potion right here. Let's go Lucky. And, well, let's go with one more water gun. And there we go. Lucky for the win. Say goodbye to Police Keith. And, uh, yes. Well, that's that. Okay, so we got one more trainer to go right here. So let's go right ahead and switch out our Pokemon. Let's go, uh, you know what? Let's go with Fluff Vault. It's uh, been a while. Yeah, let's give it some loving right here. Okay, what do you have to say, homeboy? 
I'm confident in my ability to race Pokemon. Want to see? Yeah, sure, why not? Let's go. So here we have Camp uh, Camper Todd, and he's gonna be coming out with this Facaiduk right here. And, well, let's go right ahead and go with his Thundershock. And, well, yeah, his strategy didn't really work. I kind of just, you know, I took a shot in the dark, and yes, I'm gonna get his phone number two. Took a shot in the dark with the, what kind of Pokemon he was gonna get, or use, or something like that. Anywho, I think there's an item right here, right? Yes. Let's go ahead and uh, battle this Pokemon. Of course, you'll be able to find yourself a Drowsy. And you know what? That doesn't sound like a bad idea. We're going to capture ourselves a Drowsy. Not for the team, but for something very specific later on. So there you go, guys. We caught ourselves a Drowsy. And this guy right here is the Hypnosis Pokemon. Psychic. If you think that you uh, you had a good dream, but you can't remember it, a drowsy probably uh, probably eat, eat, eating it. Yeah, it's probably a <laughs> it's probably the the reason why I can't really dream that much anymore. Thanks a lot, drowsy. Anywho, let's go ahead and grab that item right here. We found ourselves the TM63 embargo. If you guys don't know embargo, let's see. Let's see, where is Embargo? There you are. So this one right here, it prevents a foe from using its held item. Its trainer it, it, its trainer is also prevented from using items on it, which uh, is a pretty good move. Could, uh, a good move if you're gonna go up against like the Elite Four or Gym Leaders and all that stuff because they do like using uh, healing moves or healing items, I should say. Anywho guys, here we are, Golden Rod City. In the next episode, we are gonna be taking a tour of Golden Rod City. Hell, we might even be starting this episode out with uh, not so much of a big surprise, but something that will help us along the way. So, yeah. Thank you guys again for watching. Thank you guys again for being patient, as always. Again, I do apologize for taking the week off abruptly. It's just good old Draven needed that break. And, well, he's energized again to make some Pokemon walkthroughs right here for you guys. So, if you guys want to make a small donation, there is a heart button right there on the description. Click it. Any amount will actually help us out right here. Keep the lights on and all that stuff. I'll be back for another episode of our Pokemon Heart Gold Soul Silver walkthrough. See you guys.